I was sitting at a red light, minding my own business, listening at some Lightning Hopkins. Some of y'all know who Lightning Hopkins was. Do y'all know who Lightning Hopkins was? Yeah. Well, that's what I was listening to. He was playing that song. Oh, Lightning, don't mind dying. I just don't want to stay dead so long. When this young person pulled up beside me in a Honda Accord, had them wheels on it when the car stopped, the wheels kept turning. Had them neon lights on the bottom when the bass went boom, the lights went boom. Had one of them paint jobs in the sun, it was kind of greenish purplish. And in the shade, it was kind of a bluish goldish. I didn't mind the car, but he had the bass so loud. It came out of his car into my van and disrespected Mr. Hopkins. I rolled my windows up didn't stop it. I just turned my CD off. I said, Lord, let this light change. The light changed. And I went in the service station to get some diesel. He came in the service station to get some gas. And he did not turn it down. He had to bay so loud when I grabbed the handle to put the diesel in my van, it was vibrating in my hand. The bass sounded like this. Almost like that. When the young man got out of his car, he left it on. I said, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, yeah, you, excuse me. Why you got that bass so loud up under here, man? He looked at me, he said, what? As if to say, you talking to me? I said, yeah, why you got the bass so loud? He said, so I can feel it, old man. So I can feel it. Now I respect what's left of our Constitution. And I respect the 13th Amendment. But I don't think it give him the right to call me an old man in public. <laughs> I walked over to him with my hands exposed to let him see. Even though I have a Desert Eagle, a 357 and a 44 Magnum, and a 7 millimeter Magnum Remington, and a Beretta 12 gauge automatic, and a Remington 16 gauge pump, and my wife got a Coke 38. I didn't have them with me. I was unarmed. I said, man, why don't you turn that down? You got it so loud you're scaring people. He pulled his pants up. And when they let them go, they fell right back where he pulled them from. <laughs> he said, what? I said, why don't you turn it down? I might know the song. He reached in his pocket, got his remote control. Turned it down from the gas pump. He said, what? I said, yeah, I know that song. That's a Tupac Shakur song. I said, that's on Tupac's greatest hits. I said, that's between Live and Die in LA and Dear Mama and Unconditional Love. I said, the next verse is I fell through the empty hall, breast thinking in my draw. Bring, 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 quiet y'all ain't coming, call. Was it my homie from high school? He getting by. It's time to bury another brother, nobody cry. Like there's a ball of alcohol and booty call. We used to do them as adolescent, do you recall? Raise the G's, bloked out, blade the weed. Get on the roof, get smoked out, plays with me. Two in the morning, and we still high ass out. Screaming to till I die for a pass out. But now that you're gone, I'm in a zone thinking, I don't want to die all alone, but now you're gone. All I got left stinking memories. I let a brother to death. I drank Hennessy. I try to make it last. I bring a fifth for you when you pass. He said, wow. He said, wow. He said, I didn't know you know that. He pulled his pants up and he was holding them up. They tell me that's a sign of respect. I said, man, I know a lot of songs. I travel all over the world playing music and listening to all different cultures. I said, I see you got all these CDs. I said, you got any Old Temptations, and 
stylistics, impressions, shot lights, dramatics. He said, no. I said, you ain't got no Gladys Knight. No, woo -woo, midnight train to Georgia. I said, you ain't got no Aretha Franklin up in there, man. Come on. You ain't got no Big Mama Thornton, no Patty LaBelle. You ain't even got no Tina Turner up in there. I said, I know you must have Bonnie Ray. Come on, man. He said, no. I said, you ain't got no Muddy Waters, man. Come on. You ain't got no John Lee Hooker, no Howlin' Wolf. You ain't got no Stephen Ray, no Larry McCray. I said, you ain't even got B.B. King? He said, my grandmama got B.B. King. I said, well, let me tell you something, young man. You think you got something new? I'm here to tell you, you don't. All you have are samples of the people I just mentioned. I said, when I was your age, I was hip and hopped up too. But we didn't call it hip hop, we called it soul. And a man from Memphis, Tennessee, Mr. Isaac Hayes gave me my hip hop with a song like this. <laughs> He would say, who is the man that would risk his neck for the man? Shaq! John Shaq. Who is the brother that would risk his neck for others? Shaq! John Shaq. Yeah! I need y'all to help me. Y'all ready for this? All you got to say? All you got to say? Keep on singing the blues. That's all you got to say. Come on! I don't care if you visiting from Zimbabwe. I don't care if Pali Boo a little Francais. I don't care if you got a chauffeur driven Bentley. Or you just lost your used box hall. I don't care if you got a brand new Harley Davidson or some Salvation Army rollerblades.